Hello, St. Luke, St. Luke family, our friends, our well-wishers. This is the day that God has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in the day because there's another opportunity for us to give God some praise, regardless of the situation we may be in. God is worthy of all glory, all honor, and all praise. And I said that there are days that just don't go our way. But we will bless the Lord. Will means we'll put emphasis on blessing the Lord in spite of how things are going on around us or with us. We will bless God that things, as Granny could say, are as well as they are. He made this day. He allowed us to see uh, this day. It's a day he has made. I will rejoice and be glad and thankful uh, in the day that things are as well as they are. This is Pastor T.C. Johnson. We're here at the St. Luke Christian Church where God is with us seeking to serve. God's looking for someone to use, to introduce uh, someone else to him, his loving son, his love for them through the demonstration in his son Jesus. God, God wants to use you. He wants to use you. Uh, to introduce or use you as an introduction. When someone inquires how you smile, why you sing, why you seem happy, how do you, um, you know, make it? It's by the grace of the God we believe who lives, redeems us, and loves us. That's our cheering up. That's our encouragement, the fact that God loves us. Made this day especially for me and especially for you. Amen. Give him praise. Uh, it's announcements time, to, and I wanted to make a few announcements and a, some requests. Let let me just make my request first. Listen, we're um, at live church now. It starts at 9.30 on Sunday uh, mornings. We'll be doing it this one service for uh, a while and um, until we're clear, much more clear of where this uh, Omicron is going. We're doing the protocol still. Some have dropped the protocols. We still uh, ask you to come, ask you to uh, mask, ask you to, you know, be defensive still for a while longer here at St. Luke anyway. There are churches we understand who drop protocols and they're just all into it. And uh, we, we just want to we want to practice caution for a little while longer. So bear with us, if you will, 930 on Sunday. Uh, we, they ask you to sign in. I think you can still go on the website and sign in. Um, and uh, so we can keep in contact in case something does uh, go uh, south. We'll be able to call you and let you know uh, that you may need to, you know, take a test or what have you. So that's that's happening. The other thing is 930 we have beginning to have quite a few young people and so we have been, we've been asking, in fact, that our teachers for our pre-K through fifth grade for the children's church on Sunday morning. We've not done anything else we just want to do right now. Children's, children's church, uh, at the same time we have adult church. So we need some people who are willing to conduct, willing to um, carry on uh, children's church for our young people. From pre-K through fifth grades, that's the grade, that's the ages that will be in children's church right now. So we're looking for volunteers. If you, if you can help us, if you will help us, uh, if you can sacrifice some time a Sunday uh, to come out and be uh, with young people uh, that they can have church on their level, then I want you to uh, volunteer for us. Volunteer for us. We want to get started. Just reach out to Sister Angie Martin. And let her know that you are available or, or leave it on the voicemail at church. Let them know, give you contact information. Let them know you are available uh, to work with our uh, young people pre-K through fifth grade in children's church. We need volunteers for that. Also, um, Easter is coming up. April Easter we are going to. Um, do what we traditionally do. We're going to go back to doing our East Egg Hunt. Been two years off. We're going to do that. But we can only do that if you will, um, when you're out there, get some eggs, 
can the stuffed eggs and bring them in. And um, please hurry, hurry, hurry. We want to be prepared to have. And I'll give you all the logistics of that once uh, we get closer to the date. Easter egg hunt here at the St. Luke Christian Church is really, really uh, fun. Also, on the 18th of April, we're going to have a college readiness workshop at 6.30 on the 18th. For those who are going to be venture going off to college, um, they do it a number of different ways. This is an inf informative uh, Zoom where a person entering college um, for the first time will get information on some things to think about, things they need to do, that kind of stuff. It's a get to ask questions as well. This is a college readiness workshop, 18th of April at 6.30 via Zoom. Please, please, please call the uh, office and let us know if you and your child or your child want to take part in uh, that college workshop. It gets you a step, a step ahead. Continue to pray. Continue to pray for those uh, who are sick and those who are com convalescent. Um, pray for uh, Brother Mingo Ponder and Brother George Thomas. Also pray for Brother Charles Briggs um, and Sister Wanda Jackson and family. Um, Brother George uh, Thomas and Char Charlie Burris. Keep them in prayer. Sister Willie Ellison. Patricia Flowers, pray for them. Pray for Sister uh, Brother Nathaniel Fletcher and Sister Delilah Fletcher. Pray for them. Ask God to lay his hands on them. Our own precious Sister Jan uh, Juanita DeVance, keep her in prayer. Mother Perlene uh, Foreman, don't forget to call her name. Ask God to lay his hands, uh, healing hands, helping hands on Mother Foreman. Pray for our seniors, and if you want to want to call a senior, call a senior. You haven't seen them in a while. Call a senior and let them know that you are thinking about them. Listen, understand that we set um, in motion when we uh, do kind deeds for kind deeds to return to us. So we set an atmosphere. Hey, Jesus says it this way. Um, you, you plant, you, you plant, your actions will plant in your atmosphere. And the seeds you plant will grow up and return and be productive for you. Being kind, calling, and considerate of people it will boomerang. Especially when you start talking about our elders. You can't be too good to our elders. Just be good to them because one day, You'll reach that station and you set an atmosphere of respect for, a consideration for, a kindness for, a helpfulness toward seniors. Then it'll be available for you when you become a senior. Amen. Patience, patience, patience. Amen. Listen, this is Pastor Johnson. Pray for us, the St. Luke Christian Church here in Huntsville, Alabama, where God is with us. Seeking to save, getting us and using us to reach somebody else. Sunday is the first Sunday. We're going to have communion Sunday. We're going to have baptism and communion on Sunday. Again, the first Sunday we'll be baptizing here at the St. Luke Christian Church. Listen, this is the month of Easter. This is the season they call Lent. Prayerfully, there are those of you who are doing certain things in honor of that. We're going to set up our prayer altar for the week before Easter um, and we're going to have the sanctuary available for prayer uh, through the day, at least uh, during that first week, the sacrificial week. We're getting ready for our sacrificial week here at the St. Luke Christian Church. So for those who know, of you who know what we do, you need to start getting ready to, to, to fast. We would only eat one meal uh, during that week, and that's after the sun goes down. We get up. Uh, we pray, uh, we pray through the day, uh, and we uh, fast. And we'll talk more about that as we get closer to our sacrificial week. Listen, I just want you to come to understand that we have to, we have to subdue our flesh. Amen. Do for subdue our flesh, and decrease in flesh, so that we can uh, have space for the Spirit of God 
to, to, to sculpture us and shape us into the vessels that he can use for his own glory. Amen. Amen. Listen, that's enough. Of that. This is the announcements. The announcement time. Uh, begin your prayers ready. We'll uh, have the prayer um, um, receptacle ready. Uh, write out your wish, your desire, your prayers, your requests, your petitions to God. We're going to have them at the altar the week before uh, Easter. And then the next, that Sunday will be our sacrificial Sunday. We're going to, to, to give God glory, honor, and praise for the gift he gave to us. Amen. I'm getting ready. I'm excited about that. Listen, this is Pastor T.C. Johnson. These are our announcements for this Wednesday. We uh, understand that there are uh, some weather um, that we need to stay pay attention to. So um, we're going to get ready for a small, a short word, um, an applicable word, a word for today. Amen. Listen. Until I see you in a little while, be blessed.